On the 12th of April, 1961, the Soviet Union made history when they sent the first man into space. Outside of the mission, very few people knew that the launch was happening. Not even cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's own family. But how did Yuri Gagarin become the first man in space? Firstly, the Vostok rocket that would take Gagarin into orbit was derived from a Cold War ballistic missile, adapted with a small capsule for a person to sit in. That small capsule would only fit one person. They would need to choose their cosmonaut carefully. The selection was made just days before the launch, with Yuri Gagarin as the top choice and German Titov as the second. The night before the launch, Gagarin and Titov slept on mattresses with strain gauges that would measure how restful their sleep was. Only later would Gagarin admit that he had not slept at all, nor had Titov. Neither of them had known about the hidden strain gauges, but every time someone had come into the room, Gagarin had concentrated hard on lying absolutely still. The morning arrived, they played music in the capsule as last-minute adjustments were made. And finally, they were ready to launch. Vostok 1 orbited the Earth in 108 minutes. And luckily, the capsule was able to descend successfully. Gagarin ejected from the capsule and parachuted down into a potato field, miles off target. I thought it was a monster, not a person. He stretched his arms out and was approaching us. Then he asked, Do you have any idea where I can get to a phone? Over the next few days, Yuri Gagarin became a household name and a hero in Russia. And that's how Yuri Gagarin became the first man to go to space. Like and subscribe for more educational content and activities.